All right, so here's what we're going to be doing. You're going to create a, uh, you're going to create smoke in Photoshop. So you're going to take something simple like an object that you see on the screen right here, and you are going to make it look like something like this. Um, so you're going to create the smoke in the background, and we're going to put the word smoke on top of it. So this video could be a little bit longer. I'm not going to walk you every single through every single uh, step. Some of it I'm going to show you how to do. And then you're going to have to do it on your own. But um, it is extra credit. So we'll see how you do. Alright, so here's what we need to do. We need to create something like this. Okay. So first thing you do is you're going to go up here to File. You're going to go New. Blank File. Um, we want our background to be, you know, the width, the height, all that stuff. I don't really care about. But the important thing is the background color because we want it to be black. And over here on the side, you can see the background color on the bottom is black. So if yours is not black, um, it's important that you change it to black. So mine's blue here. I'm going to come over here, change it to black. There we go. So file, new, blank file. If I go too fast for you on this, pause it, complete the step, and then start it up again. Um, background color okay all right so you can see here we have a black background so we're going to right click on that and we're going to duplicate the layer okay hit okay we have two um, black layers over here on the right hand side now on the top one right here we're going to draw a shape and um, we're going to use this tool right here called the polygonal lasso tool Okay, so if yours isn't there, hold it down, select it, um, and you're going to draw a shape, and this is going to be kind of an idea of what your smoke is going to look like. I usually like to make some kind of fingers on mine, just so it eventually will be the smoke kind of creeping up the screen, but you can do yours how you want. Alright, so there we have it. At the end, you want to connect it. Um, and we want this to be a different color. We want to be able to see what we're doing here. So just, um, I'm going to make it blue. The color doesn't really matter, um, but we're going to make it blue. So you're going to click on this foreground color, any blue, hit OK. Come over here to the paint bucket, select it. Click inside the shape you created. It's going to make it blue. Okay, now we want to get rid of this, um, this little edge here. So we're going to go back to the polygonal tool, select it, and then click right on top of it somewhere, and it goes away. Alright, so here we have it. We have our shape that we're going to make in this smoke. So one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to come over here, and you're going to change this to the dodge tool. So you're going to hold it down, select dodge tool, and once you select it, you can see if you click and hold down your mouse, you can kind of color. We want to color the edges and the ends with the dodge tool. So we're going to make it like a little white area on the edges and the ends. Here we go. This part might take you a little long, longer, depending on how much you have to color in here. This will help with your smoke effect. So make sure you do a decent job. All right, there we go. Now back on the same tool here. You're going to click on it, hold it. Now you're going to select the burn tool. With a little hand. Now we did the edges before, so now you're going to do inside. We're just going to draw a little burn tool. You'll notice this is going to be a little darker. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to make the inner parts a little darker. There you go. 
All right, that's good enough for me. So, all right, so next here we have it. We have our two layers over here. We did our dodge and our burn tool. We're going to make sure we select it on the top layer, the one with the image on it. And now we're going to go up here to filter. We're going to go down to blur. We're going to go to um, motion, uh, radial blur. Uh, cancel that, sorry. We're going to go blur, motion blur. Okay, and you can kind of play with how blurry you want it. If you make it too blurry, at the end the smoke is going to be real um, transparent. So I'm going to go about uh, I'm going to go about 80 there. Okay, hit OK. And we're going to go back up here to filter again. We're going to go to blur. And this time the Gaussian blur. Okay, you can see again, the more you use, the more transparent it is. So I'll go about 28. Okay, so there we have. Now we have it applied our blur to it. So the next step, and I'm going to show you how to do this, but you're going to have to play with it yourself and just figure out what you think is best for you. And I'm not going to go through the whole process for you. Um, so it's not, mine's not going to be perfect, but you'll get the idea. So we're going to go up here to filter again. You're going to come down here and you're going to go down to distort. And you're going to go to wave. Okay. Now your settings need to be the same as mine. So the number of generators should be 5. Wavelength is 10 and 120. Amplitude is 5 and 35. And then both 100 and 100 on horizontal and vertical down there at the bottom. Make sure that this is selected and this is selected and then hit OK. And it should apply a wave to yours, but uh oh, here's what we did. You'll notice, make sure you guys don't do this. Make sure you've selected the top one here, not the bottom one. So I gotta go back through here and do this again. Alright, so there's our wave. Okay, so make sure you've selected the top one and do the wave just like I did. You can see it kind of creates a smoke like it's flowing up into the air. All right, so we're getting close to being done here. Um, but this is probably the most important part coming up here. So we're going to go to filter, going to go to distort again, and you're going to go to liquefy. Make sure you've selected the top one again. So we're going to filter, top one has been selected, distort, liquefy, alright, there we have it, okay. And here's what you're going to do, you got a few things over here, okay, you have this thing called the warp tool, you have turbulent tool, and then you have these clockwise tools. So you're going to kind of play with them. So I'm going to click on this uh, turbulent tool, and I'm going to drag it just across and up on my object and as I do you can see it kind of changes it a little bit alright I'm going to continue to do it until I'm happy with how it looks alright until it looks like smoke more like smoke flowing up into the air I'm not going to do it 100% here. You get the idea, so you should do yours. Now I can choose this Warp Tool as well. Warp Tool, you can click it and drag it up as well. It also creates a flowing effect. Alright. Now one thing that you'll learn is smoke always kind of uh, flows in clockwise or counterclockwise. So on these here, you're going to click on these. You can kind of click and hold over it, and it'll twist it around and make sure it make it look like it's kind of flowing up into the air. Once again, I'm not going to do the entire thing on this one because it takes a while, um, but you need to do it on here and go over everything you see on here, especially the top parts that are flowing up into the air. Okay, you can play with both of them here. All right, but these are the main four you should use. 
the warp, the turbulent, um, the clockwise tool, and the counterclockwise tool. Once you're happy with it, which if I was me and I was doing this, I would play with this a little bit more, but for the example, it's fine. You're going to hit OK, and you'll notice down here at the bottom, it takes a second for it to, uh, to go into effect. So we'll wait one second here. There's all kinds of other tools over here that you could use, but for the smoke effect, we're not really going to use them. Um, we're just going to use the four that we talked about just a second ago. So it's just about done here. All right, so there you have it. Now, like I said before, if I was really creating this smoke, I would play with it a little bit more. Because um, as you can see on the one that I've created, you know, I made it flow a little bit more on the top and then the bottom and the middle as well. But for the example, that's just going to have to work. All right, so the next thing, make sure again where you are on the smoke, the top layer over here on the right. Um, and we're going to change this because smoke is not blue. We just made it blue for the example so we could see it easier. We're going to go up here to enhance, convert to black and white, and there you can see what it's going to look like. Uh, you can kind of play with it down here at the bottom if you want uh, to make it look like what you want it to look like. When you're happy with it, hit OK. And there's my smoke that I've just created. Um, and then the last step for this example, for this uh, tutorial, you're going to click on the type tool over here on the right. You're going to type the word smoke. You can use any font you want. Um, but you're going to make sure that it is the top layer so that you can read it. It's so over here on the far right in the layers. It's got to be the top one. Now I'm going to resize it to the size that I want, a bigger size. I'm going to add, I want the color. Here's the thing, a lot of times I give you guys the option, but for this I want it to be black. Okay, so you're going to make sure that the type is black. Hit OK. Um, you're going to uh, apply a warped text. So you're going to get a style, we're going to arc it a little bit, bend it how you want, hit OK. Can't really see it very well, so the last thing you're going to do is add a layer, um, a stroke to the layer. Layer, layer style, style settings, stroke, pick whatever color you want for this. I'm going to go with the yellow. Alright, you're going to adjust it right here. There you have it. This is an extra credit activity, so if you finish it, I need to see it. Um, let me see it. And that is how you create smoke in Photoshop for a background effect. Once again, if I went too fast, rewind the video, go back, pause it, do whatever you need to do. Um, if you have any questions at all, let me know.